Hello, welcome to On Edge Components. Today I'll be uh, changing the travel of this 2019 Fox Factory 32 step cast cross country fork. I'm doing a travel change from 100 mil to 80. So I'm going to shorten it up to steepen up the uh, actual head tuba angle of this bike. What I mean by actual is unweighted height, so no sag on the fork, no weight on the fork. It sits at 80 mil, and that's the actual uh, head tube angle. Effective head tube angle means uh, when you sit on the bike, you take the, you subtract the sag out, then effective is that's your effective angle. I'm going to take the pressure of the fork. I'm going to undo the cap. And just tore through my glove. Lovely. So I am going to take all the settings of the fork before I tear it apart. Uh, normally you do this. Today I'll be doing this too, but um, it'll be kind of a different tune for the uh, shorter travel. 67. Nice. Let it out. Very slowly. Nothing in it. The damper will not be rebuilt. It's nothing's gonna be really rebuilt. The uh, wipers are still good. All I'm doing is changing the air spring, and that will change the travel. Pull that off. This is the uh, kit I've got. It's a air spring assembly and uh, volume spacers. With the shorter travel, I will want to make it uh, more progressive so I don't bottom it out as much. These kits are also kind of hard to find now, since uh, a lot of people don't really use them. You know, because most people want more travel, not less. So, they're a little hard to find now. I'm going to use a 2mm hex wrench. To remove the uh, red rebound adjuster. So I got my rebound adjuster out. So you, when you turn the Allen wrench left to loosen it, it will click, unless your settings are bombed out, it will click left, stop, and then that's when your bolt will come out. So you have to count your clicks and then reset them when you put it back together. See there's a nut down there. There's another nut down there. So I'm gonna grab a uh, 10 millimeter hex with a quarter inch ratchet and extension. I'm gonna do these lefty loosey. Got the hex nut in there. Put it on my part stack. I'm gonna do the other one. Got the second one out. There you go. I got the second one out. Grab my knockout tool. Thread it on. So you wanna essentially get it on there as tight. And get on there a few turns and just whack it. Uh, I'm about to hold the uh, bike stand for this. Doesn't take much to uh, knock it out, so I'm going to uh, drop the lowers now. Let's see how e let's see how easily these come out. Oh, there it goes. Oil's running out. Come on, you. Did 
drip out all the oil. Pull them down. Hang the lowers. Up there. Cool workbench that way. Just a little dustering form there. It's normal though, the way I pull it off. Check for any uh, scoring of these stanchions. And the camera looks pretty good. I check both sides. Look at all the shafts, all the ceiling surfaces, check everything before I uh, take it apart any further. I'm going to remove the air cap right there. It's a uh, 26 millimeter. Sorry about the cables. Um, use two hands. So pull out this uh, air cap with uh, one token to clean this later. Good luck and good racing. So it says. Got one token and add two more to this. I put it back together and clean this one in the meantime. A little spring clip in there. You can see it's on the right side. Pop that clip out. They give you a new one with the kit. This thing. And that's a crush washer in the center. So I might be able to do the spring clip one handed. Uh, I got a spoon tool here. I'll push it into the. Uh, groove here. You see it's lifting it, wiggling under, working under, clip landed right on a towel, sick, I'm gonna go take the, uh, take this and pull on it. Pull harder, I guess. There it goes. So this is the uh, 100 mil piston. You can see here, there's a, a quite a bit of a length difference in the two air springs. I hope that's a, that's a good angle. 20 mil. Uh, I'm not really sure who would do this conversion anymore. Uh, this is kind of a, for special reasons. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. So I'm going to take some 15 weight oil. Fox recommends 20 weight oil each cc per lower. This is a milliliter. I'm going to uh, up it a little bit. Just, uh, and I can dip the piston in it too for extra... So I filled up to 20, there, and then divide that by 2 over 2 legs. Take a, I take a little brush, I'm going to coat my uh, pistol. So after everything's coated, it's ready to uh, be installed. Almost like that. Seat it. Put the ring in. So I clean my uh, the ring here. 
I cleaned the gland to make sure it's all good. I'm gonna reuse the old ring just because it's not really bent. It's not cracked, it's not lost a spring. Always check it though to make sure. And I can have the other one as a spare. Slip it over, compress it, push it. Heard it snap. That means it's good. Of course, I always check it, look around, make sure that it's seated in all spots. Except for the camera angle. The fork lowers are a bit oily because I put in these uh, new uh, foam rings. I'm oh, sorry I couldn't uh, film the rest of putting it together. It got pretty hard to do with one hand only, so I just had to put the camera down and put it back together. I used the... Uh, I greased the wipers, put in new foam rings, put in the oil, and uh, put it all back together, made sure my sag ring is still good. Of course it is. The uh, oh, on edge brakes uh, sag ring. Um... Put all the crush washers back in, the two uh, lower nuts, cleaned it all, and uh, it's almost ready to go, I need to pressurize it, do a few uh, tests on it, but otherwise that's how it looks rebuilt, partially rebuilt. I gotta put this uh, rebound adjuster in. So this adjuster, uh, these can come loose and either drop out or they'll rattle even if they're not uh, loose they'll just rattle because it's got a really small hex that's attached to so actually fox puts uh, one o-ring on but i put uh, two keeps it quieter doesn't eliminate the noise completely but this is what i do and i'm gonna install that little bolt and uh that's it repressurize it and it'll be good to go Feels really smooth though when I was putting it together. It's really nice. Make sure there's no binding, you know. Make sure the uh, bushings are all good. Check everything. All checks out, so. Be riding this soon. Color's kind of bad, but oh well. I think at one point it was gloss black. wet, sort of. I'll take a clip of when it's pressurized too. I just filled it up with air. Uh, clicked in the, put in the clicks of rebound. Uh, this is where it stands at full height, so. This is the 80 mil. So it might be a slightly stiffer fork because there's more uh, stanchion in the bushing. 20 mil, almost an inch. It's quite a bit. Um, I would say it looks pretty good. It, I've run 80 in the past, so it's not really a big deal. It's just on this bike. This bike is actually a 100-120 frame. But I wanted to steepen it up, so I put a 80 in it. So we're gonna see how it rides in a little bit, and then uh, see how much I like it. It's mainly for climbing. I don't really have problems on downhill, so I could shorten the travel without uh, too much sacrifice. Put in this uh, rebound adjuster. Kind of here. Quiet it is. It's a dull sound, not so much like a pinging sound now. It's nice. It's got two o rings on it. Mount the brake caliper back up. Put the hose back in. Everything's clean. Washed down, all the mud's gone. It's just faded. And there you have it.